He's facing 836 counts of SA, the Owen Johnson case, trigger warning. On January 19, 2024, state troopers in Mason County responded to a CPS referral. Troopers say Owen babysat the victim several nights a week for about two years, and that was when the abuse took place. The child told investigators that Owen would SA them at least twice a day, multiple times a week over a two-year span. The child said they didn't know what was happening until they had a class about it at school, and that was when they reported it. Owen is also accused of choking another child during a Schmegs Act at least twice during the same time period. So during the forensic interview with the state police, the children said that Owen told them not to tell their parents. The other child said, we were scared if we told our parents, he would come find us and do something. Owen confessed to the police that he and a relative got into an argument after that relative caught him cuddling with these children wearing nothing but his underwear. He claims he did not SA them, but the kids might think that he did because they seen him sexting his ex-girlfriend on his phone. What does that even mean? Like they seen you doing dirty things while texting her or they seen you sending nude pictures? What? When the investigator asked Owen if he'd ever had schmegs with his victims, he answered, not that I know of. Owen is charged with 836 counts of first degree SA, three counts of SA by parent, guardian, custodian, or person in position of trust, and four counts of strangulation. So he was arrested and the judge placed him under a $1 million bond. Is it just me or does this smell kind of fishy? Like this whole family needs to be investigated kind of fishy. I want to know which relative walked in and caught him cuddling in his underwear and didn't report it to the police. And I wonder, did the parents know about the cuddling and still let him babysit? To those of you that knew but did nothing, you helped him. You're just as guilty. Your silence protected him and enabled him to continue doing this for two years without getting caught. And you should be arrested too. You're no better than him. I can't stand these enablers because they'll stay quiet until they get arrested and that's when they'll tell the truth just to get themselves out of hot water when they could have said something a long time ago and saved the children. It's a damn shame that these kids had to go through this and live in constant fear for two years before something was finally done.